Stop. You are perfect exactly as you are. But then you turned away. Why? I had no choice. She feels her face marked, marred without malice. She didn't know. She thinks it's why you walked away. I not heal this coal. Let her carry her anger in peace. I begged you not to drink from the well. Why could you not have listened? Solus. You gave yourself into the service of an ancient elven god. I had to do it, and I can't very well take it back now. Shit. I know. I only hope it is worth whatever price you pay. I suppose it is better you have the power than Corypheus. Which leads to the next logical question. What will you do with the power of the well once Corypheus is dead? I won't know the answer until Corypheus is defeated. Yet they are already asking you to answer. Restore the Chantry? Destroy the Chantry? You're being grim and fatalistic in the hope of getting me into bed, aren't you? What? I am grim and fatalistic. Getting you into bed is just an enjoyable side benefit. I am shocked and scandalized. Come with me, Vanan. The Valisleen. In my journeys in the Fade, I have seen things. I have discovered what those marks mean. They are slave markings. Or at least they were in the time of ancient Alathan. Bullshit! That's bullshit! Is there anything in this world you won't tear down just to prove how smart you are? If you like, I know a spell. I can remove the Valisleen. But the Valisleen is part of who I am. I hope you can see... Stop. You are perfect exactly as you are. And I am sorry. I distracted you from your duty. It will never happen again. Tell me I was some casual dalliance so I can call you a cold-hearted son of a bitch and move on. I'm sorry. Perhaps Cole can get a better answer from you than I did. You don't get out of this that easily. I understand your anger. I am furious with myself as well. But for now, we must focus on what matters. Harden your heart to a cutting edge and put that pain to good use against Corypheus. I don't know why I even tried to talk with you. Uh-oh. Because you were hurt. Because I made a selfish mistake. Because you deserve better. Pick any reason. You really don't let anybody see under that polite mask you wear, do you? You saw more than most. Will you talk to me when we are finished with Corypheus? If we are both still alive afterward, then I promise you, everything will be made clear. An old pain from before, when everything sang the same. You're real, and it means everyone could be real. It changes everything, but it can't. You sleep, masked in a mirror, hiding, hurting, and to wake them... Where did it go? Are you... all right? Shit, damn it! Could one thing in this fucking world just stay fixed? Time to drink myself into a stupor. It's been that sort of day. Join me sometime, if you've a mind. To the Iron Bull. And his ass-kicking Inquisitor. <gasps> a little slower and a lot harder. Inquisitor, how may I help you prepare for our final battle? Iron Bull and I were just blowing off some steam. You're not exactly subtle, O oh Lord Inquisitor.
I can't believe you shaved that in your... <laughs> Out of desperation. I see you enjoy playing with fire, Inquisitor. What does that mean exactly? It festers inside of you like poison. You have to fight for what's in your heart. Solus doesn't want to hurt people. He isn't that kind of wolf. That's Sven Harel, removing a Dalish elf's Valisleen. Maybe the markings used to have a different meaning. <gasps> Solus. Barefaced but free, frolicking, fighting fierce. He wants to give wisdom, not orders. He broke the dreams to stop the old dreams from waking. The wolf chews its leg off to escape the trap. You're Fen Harel. You're the Dread Wolf. What is the old Dalish curse? May the Dread Wolf take you? And so he did. I loved you. Did you really think I wouldn't have understood? Hear Abelas, Fanan. Tell Abelas. Solus, Varlap Vir Suladin. I wish it could, Vanan. My love. I'm sorry, Cole, but with your gift, I fear that you might see the path I now must walk in solitude forever. This fate is mine alone. Indeed, I would not wish it on an enemy much less someone that I once cared for. Though you reach out in compassion, I must now insist that you forget. I will never forget you.